Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Leaf Green redo. In the last part, we started uh, Seven Island, and we'll actually continue it actually with Bowing More Trainers. We finished the the key and this tombstone, uh, tombstoney uh, ruins, I think. Let's uh, unlock all the unknown. Uh, Giant Green's up front, let's battle this cool trainer. I was given the best possible education to become this strong. I don't want to lose to anyone. Sorry, but you might lose to me. I am the. I'm technically the Pokemon League champion, because if I never got a chance to, you know, defend my title and whatnot. So yeah, cool trainer uh, Michelle would like the battle kit. So she has a Persian, cool. Let's go for a Razor Leaf on this thing. Yeah, let's go for, use a Razor Leaf on this thing. Um, this could take two hits though, to faint. Oh yeah, that's right, cool, just barely. <laughs> Screech misses, so that's good, let's go for another. Let's go for another um, Razor Leaf, but then she's using Hyper Potion. This Persian's level 50, level um, 47 and female, so that's cool. Maybe we can get a critical hit this time, because, you know, Razor Leaf has high critical hit ratio. Nope, I guess not. Let's go for another Razor Leaf then. Oh, it missed. Of course it missed. Jeez. Fine, we'll use another Razor Leaf. Yeah, I, I think Razor Leaf has like a 95 accuracy or something. I could look up in the spell, because I honestly forgot. Exactly how much uh, how accurate it is. Let's go for it. Okay, I'll do Gons next. Okay, let's use Giga Drain on this thing. Yeah, there we go. Giga Drain hits awesome. I should also uh, restore all of um, Giant Green's HP. There we go. One hit, nice. I like it. Okay, so now Giant Green is level 64, like the rest of the team. Awesome. Drifrig, okay, let's go to, let's go to Trevor Cuff and use Shadow Ball on this thing. It's a second type Pokemon, so it's gotta be weak to ghost type moves. So let's just do that. Nice. Shadow Ball, nice. Oh, oh it doesn't fest Jack Fruit because it's, I guess it's normal and psychic. I forgot about that. That's a bummer. Let's go for the strength then. Dang, I can't forget about that. Yeah, Side Beam, okay. Let's get Side Beam again on Trouble Clef. Let's go to at that time. Let's give it another strength that should faint it. And it does. Nice. It's pretty good. Katrina Michelle's but he's Rapidash. Let's go to Storm Man then. Let's just surf on this thing. Nice. So 48 and female, so it goes down one hit. Awesome. Oh, it did go down one hit. Cool. Nice. Ninetales, let's stay in. Ninetales is the last Pokemon, too. Sif again. Okay, Ninetales is fainted. It was level 48 and it's uh, female, but it goes down. What do you think? Cool trainer, Michelle. Okay, thank you. I feel like I've been set free by losing to you. Oh, you're welcome, Michelle. Thanks for $15, too. What's in this house? I forget. Here's a lucky punch. I guess it's used for a Chansey, I guess. Held on him for Chansey. Dance, dance, Chansey, dance. You join in, too. Dance, dance. Reject the dance? Sure. Steven dance the Chansey dance. Oh, uh, healed our Pokemon. Ha ha ha. There you all tripping now. Lucky. Nice. Oh, we could talk to the Chansey real quick, too. Why not? Let's go talk to the Chansey. Okay, Chansey, Chansey. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. We restored our Pokemon, apparently, so that's awesome. So, uh, let's put Starman up front, I guess. And the Lucky Punch. I think it's a good item for Chansey. Hell, item for Chansey. Let's go Max Elixir. Go right there, I guess. There we go, nice. Okay, just organize my bag. Um, yeah, I go up there, it's helped by a Chansey. It raises Chansey's critical hit ratio. That's pretty cool. It's actually a really good item for Chansey. Here's the Tome to Tonabi Ruins or whatever. I think I have to put another Pell on, though. Nope, I didn't, go back. I didn't mean to go to the Matrina card. Oh, yeah, I think if we beat the Pokemon League, we do get a star on our card, which is pretty cool. I forgot to mention that, because I forgot that happened, you know? 
Okay, so yeah, it's been a on. Okay, it's the wingers one from earlier. Cool. Um, let's go right first. Let's take on this slass. Uh, Clifford, Clifford is teaching me how to paint. Clifford the big red dog. Wow, that's pretty cool. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, this is painter Edna. Okay, so yes, yeah, she has a smuggle. Okay, that's cool. Let's go for the surf on this thing. Let's get his fake out to make Starman flinch. Okay. Fine. Oh, and ask to protect. Of course, it's trying to just stall. How dare you? Get his quick deck now. Okay, it's surf finally hits. That's awesome. It finally gets the be effective, you know? There goes the smear. It goes to level 50 and it goes down. And it's male. Cool. We defeated Painter Edna. We might get into trouble about it for it being noisy here. Thanks for $8 and $8 though. Don't worry, Edna. I got this. <laughs> uh, today is an audition. Today in addition to iOS and we come to see the chamber. Okay. That's cool. Here's Gentleman uh, Clifford. Right there. Marowak, okay. It's like she was Ice Beam on my Rock. It's level 49 and male. Let's go for the Ice Beam. It's gonna be super effective. Let's see if we can one hit KO it. Let's see here. And we do. Awesome. Gold Duck, okay. I'll stay in. Let's use the Thunderbolt on this thing. Nice. This Gold Duck's level 49 and male. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we defeated Gentleman Clifford, yay. My, my how extraordinary. Okay, cool. Thanks for $35.28, Clifford. Is this the item right here? Nope, I guess not. So here's the whip chamber. I think so I can get like unknowns and stuff. And there's like a little design in the middle. Do we still repel on? Okay, there we go. Cool. So here's some unknown. This is un okay. I think this is S. So S for Steven. Cool. Um, yeah. Let's just throw an Ultra Ball. Out of it. Hopefully we can catch it. I don't think the critical. Hit, uh, I don't think the catch rate's too well. So let's just an Ultra Ball on this thing. I'm gonna catch one. I guess just to have it. One, two, three. I believe this is unknown S. There we go. We caught unknown. Nice. Unknown stays out of the Pokedex. Okay, and it's number 201 in the Pokedex, unknown. The simple Pokemon, the simple Pokemon, there we go. Um, yeah, it's, it's one foot inch tall, it weighs 11 pounds. These shapes, their shapes look like hieroglyphs on ancient tablets. It is said to, that the two are somehow related. Let's say, I'm hoping that this is S, I'm pretty sure it is. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say S Power. It's a really dumb nickname, but uh, It'll do, I guess. Cool. Yeah, box is full. Let's transfer to box two. Yay, okay. Cool. Because box one is full. So, I, yeah, they, you can collect all the unknown. I think you get something if you collect all the unknown and show someone. At least in the way I put my games, you get something. I think. <laughs> I'm not really for sure. Here's another chamber. I think different um, unknown letters pop up in different chambers. But I just caught the one for my Pokedex, I guess. Just to have it. Let's go for it. Let's put another repel on. Yeah, there we go. We have 32 more repels after this. Nice. Here's, um, I think this is a Romanic or a Hiker. Let's talk to him. This is like one of the bigger chambers, too. A, myth a, mythic a mystic Pokemon is said to sleep inside here. Yeah, the unknown. The unknown. I remember in Pokemon 3, the movie, how I like, I like the unknown because. They seem like all powerful, but in reality, they only know hidden power. That's the only move they can really learn, I'm pretty sure. And I don't think they can learn really any TMs, so it's not the best Pokemon to use at all, really. Let's go for the waterfall on this G dude. It's level 48 in male, so I wouldn't recommend using one on your team. I guess you could just catch all of them, or try to catch all the letters in the uh, question mark and the explanation point, too. Um, and just for fun, I guess, but I'm not going to be doing that, honestly. So, I'm gonna skip out on that. So here's a gravel level 48 male. I mean, I think I've collected around 15 to 20 in my first playthrough of 
getting the unknowns but then I, I was like it got frustrated because I couldn't like I couldn't find all of them you know so yeah okay so he has two, a geodude and two gravoids basically so yeah, this geodude scrubber is also level 40 just like the last one it's also male just like the last one haha -ha. let's go for the waterfall again and it defends it one hit awesome nice cool Defeated Rune Maniac uh, Benjamin. Cool. I'm not much. I'm not. I'm not much good in battle. Sorry. That's okay, Benjamin. You're okay. Thanks for twenty-three dollars and four cents. So yeah, it can be hiker or Rune Maniac, and it was a Rune Maniac actually. So yeah, I got a little further away from my mic. Sorry there. So you might not have heard me so well. Yeah. Okay. Um. I guess I think you can also find Mantine in these waters, which is the wolf. Well, Mantine. Yeah, it's a cool Stingray Pokemon. I've actually caught one before. It's really cool. Um, to the far left, there's still more chambers. Like this one. I'm gonna check if there's any items in these rocks real quick. I guess not. Oh, here's another Rune Maniac, I'm like guessing. Even though you have the Hiker Sprite. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Do you know anything about this stone chamber? I know that uh, with the Tomb Pisidoni puzzle that I, I, um, uh, that I uh, solved in the last part, I unlocked all the unknowns. Or the unknowns were, um, able to come to these chambers and I can catch one and stuff which I caught one like two minutes ago so this onyx level 50 it's male goes down one hit awesome nice oh, manic Brandon that was uncalled for you didn't have to be so rough sorry man thanks for the 24 dollars okay so no item there no item in that rock either Okay, there's still more chambers. Oh man. Okay, so this is like a different change, but the vast polis chamber, I guess. So pronounce it there's like different designs. This one a different design. Um, I guess not. Well I guess it is a different design than the one we were in when we caught that first Pokemon. First unknown I should say. Okay, let's get another chamber. Is there an item in these rocks at all? I don't think there is. Yeah, okay. I think we explored everything else though. So that's good. We should be done with Seven Island, actually. Okay, let's fly back to um, Fire Island then, if we can, or we can just fly back to Seven Island and heal up and use the other Pokemon and stuff. Yeah, because this is Six Island over here, right? Okay, yeah. So this is Seven Island. Cool. I think we just leave. Uh, yeah, we leave Starman in the water right there, but then Magic Rates with us again. So uh, let's see here. Do I have anything to stash in my PC? Uh, the Lucky Punch, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up and store the Lucky Punch in my PC real quick, so I'll be right back. My repel wore off in the Pokemon Center, so that's okay. It's good timing, though. Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. Starman's still up front. Okay, cool. Let's uh, sell our Nugget real quick, and then we'll be on our way. So let's sell our Nugget. Cool, nice. And with that, we're done with Seven Island. I'm gonna come back here before we we match the Pokemon League and raise all my Pokemon to level 70, though. Um, before um, we take on the Pokemon League and we match them all, because they have like the Pokemon League uh, Elite Four has like Johto Pokemon and they're tougher and stuff, higher level and whatnot. So yeah, let's go to um, let's go to Five Island. Now that we have the second password, yes, yes, nay, Chansey, and Goldini to log, we can actually get into the Rocket Warehouse. That's pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's put another repel on though first. Let's put another repel on. Nice. I'm down to 31 repels, max repels. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Okay. So here we are back at the Rocket Warehouse. Let's use the, um, let's enter the pa passwords. Uh, Steven entered two passwords. Goldine need log, yes, nay, chancy. The warehouse door opened. Another little click, and we can go in. Here's the Rocket Warehouse. Okay, so this has been my Pokemon Leaf Green video of the part. Next part, we'll take on the Rocket Warehouse and hopefully finish it in one part. That'd be cool. So, yes, yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green video walkthrough guide.